Hi, and welcome. My name is Dr. Ronald Belkacin. I'm a pulmonary and critical care consultant in Denver, Colorado. Thank you for joining us as we discuss nebulized therapy and COPD treatment. COPD guidelines, including the Global Initiative for Chronic Obstructive Lung Disease, or GOLD criteria, recommend inhalation therapy as a primary method for COPD treatment. What inhaler device options do you commonly prescribe for your COPD patients? There are many different inhaler device options, and it can be challenging to determine the best choice for your individual patient. The GOLD criteria state that the choice of a device depends on several factors, including availability, cost, prescribing physician's clinical preference, drug of choice, and patient ability. Many COPD inhaler devices can be difficult to use and can be prone to patient error. However, if used properly, different inhaler devices show comparable efficacy. What are your thoughts on nebulizers? By aerosolizing medication, nebulizers provide efficient drug delivery through normal breathing action. This is especially important for patients who have impaired breathing and struggle to reach a sufficient peak inspiratory flow rate. Additionally, nebulizers are useful for people who have difficulty using handheld inhaler devices. There are some drawbacks to using nebulizers. Drug preparation and device cleaning are required. Caregiver support may also be necessary. In a recent survey of 82 COPD patients who were using nebulizers, 98% indicated that they felt the positive aspects of nebulizers outweighed the negative. Some of the reasons these patients like nebulizers may be due to the fact that nebulized therapy doesn't require deep breaths or breath holding. It provides consistent medication delivery to the lung with regular tidal breathing and a treatment time ranging from 5 to 10 minutes depending on the device. Additionally, modern nebulizers are also lightweight, they're portable, and can be used with rechargeable batteries. And finally, nebulizers are often covered by Medicare and consumer insurance plans. Nebulizers are generally the primary choice for treating COPD patients in the inpatient setting, including emergency rooms and intensive care units. It is an accepted way of delivering medication in critical times. But nebulization is also an option for delivering medication in outpatient settings. So, in your clinical practice, do you and your patients commonly discuss inhaler devices such as nebulizers as an option for COPD?